From the Sterling High School, this is the Castle Connection on December 22nd, 2021. I'm here with Superintendent Mr. Sheehan. Thank you for joining me, sir. It is December. We are ready for the break. Thanks for joining me. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on. It feels like it's been uh, quite some time here, and um, I'd like to think that we've achieved a lot since the start of the school year. So it's a nice time to reflect on what we've achieved, what we've, um, what we've done so far this school year, but also to be thankful and uh, we're, we're appreciating this break that's coming up. So great job so far. Thank you so yeah. much. Uh, yeah, our number one message today is just to wish you a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, a uh, great time with your families. Uh, but we do have a couple other messages in between there. And number one is just, we are very thankful to have come this far after being away um, back. And I think our number one goal is to provide opportunities for our students and that has been successful. Um, just some great things that have happened of recently. We've had the, the winter concert just occurred last night. We're gonna watch it as an assembly, as a school um, today as well. Uh, so great job by the Performing Arts Department. Uh, awesome holiday spirit around the school. We have the door decoration that was set up by Ms. Cam, a lot of the staff getting involved in that. Uh, the TV19 crew did a little highlight, so make sure you check that out. Uh, Believe in You did a Who Inspires You uh, video. If you didn't get a chance to see it, make sure you do that. It's where staff take a time to uh, recognize a student for their inspirational uh, efforts throughout their school experience. And then, uh, you know, as part of our United Initiative is, is part about getting involved, being active, celebrating the high school experience. And we're going to recognize a bunch of students today um, during a second block in that process. We're excited about that. But it's been a, a long haul, but we believe uh, successful and uh, students are doing a great job participating in our school community. Yeah, and if I can even take it a step uh, back further, I think a lot of the school spirit and celebration really started with the Veterans Day breakfast. You know, having the veterans from the community come in and our ROTC prepare a breakfast for them was, was awesome. Uh, alumni uh, Mike Barikian made a, um, uh, he was our guest speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that led into our pajama for CHOP and our toy drive, which was phenomenal. Right. So, you know, the goal is to be here full time, right? To get the kids a full day of instruction, but also, as you said, to celebrate. I know that's been a key of, of yours this year. And uh, boy, it's been one big celebration for the last six weeks, which has been outstanding. Great. Never take it for granted. No, for yeah. sure, yeah. for sure not. All right, so Mr. Sheen, you have a couple announcements coming from your office that you wanted to share with our community. Yeah, so two things that are very exciting, um, and, and I think they're, they're, they kind of bridge together. Um, one, we want to recognize the excellence of past athletic accomplishments with our Athletic Hall of Fame nominations. If you visit our website, um, it's on current news, but it's also under athletics. You can nominate individuals or teams uh, to be in our Athletic Hall of Fame. So um, you know, we, wanna, we cherish our history. Uh, it's an opportunity to honor individuals and teams who, who were high achieving, uh, who represented Stony High School in a fine fashion. Um, so if you have people in mind for that, please, uh, please put some nominations in. Ideally, we wanna have uh, ceremonies every two years. And the last one we had was 2018. We got bumped because of COVID, but we wanna get back on that track where we can recognize uh, those student athletes who made such an impact here. And then the second thing, so not only we recognize in the past, but we got a plan for the future. So the future is the strategic planning process, which will begin on January 25th. Um, we have it up on the screen there. If you are interested in, in uh, the strategic planning process, it is a three meeting process. The first meeting is, what are you proud? What, what makes you proud about Sterling High School? Uh, the second meeting is, what are the challenges that we have at Sterling High School? And the third one is, how do we plan to meet those challenges? So, you know, we want students, staff, parents, community members, business leaders, uh, government workers, um, you know, anybody we can to give input because, you know, really we want to make sure we're preparing for the needs of our students as we move forward. So we're really excited once again with the Hall of Fame and the strategic planning. Uh, the one thing we do ask is, you know, we want a commitment. If you can make all three meetings, uh, if you email strategicplanning at sterling.k12.nj.us, we will put you on file and we'll keep you updated as to the meetings. Uh, they'll be on the website. We'll do some highlights on video, uh, but we're really excited about that process. The end point of that process it gives us a map for three to four years or three to five years on what we want to try to achieve and how we try to achieve it. It's going to drive uh, discussions such as curriculum. It's going to drive our budget. It's going to drive personnel. Anything, facilities, anything with Sterling High School will be driven by the Strategic Planning Committee. So we're very excited about it. We hope you're excited about it. And it's an opportunity to have a say in the future of Sterling High School. Great. Thank you for sharing. Those items will be available right on the website. Um, for your further review. So as we, we go into the holiday, and, and we want to wish everybody a wonderful, wonderful holiday. We need the break. Uh, just a reminder of a couple things. We're currently 
in a high rate of transmission area as our county, but um, they have set the current uh, quarantine timeline for unvaccinated persons if they are close contacts to 10 days or seven days with a negative test on days five, six, or seven. So that's kind of where we're at right now with that. Uh, the one big thing that I want you to understand is um, as a school, we cannot accept a home test for your student to come back to school. The home tests are important. Uh, we would value those for you personally as individuals in a household to identify what's going on in your home and for you personally. But as far as returning to school, we will need a, a physician's ordered or you go to the pharmacist or a, a full PCR test, essentially one that says your name and who took it uh, the date that it's taken, we have to be able to verify those things in order to come back into school. So uh, as valuable as, no, as home tests are for you, uh, we cannot accept them to return to school. Um, but hopefully we're getting by some of those things. And uh, we just have to remind each other as you go into the break to protect your bubble we've talked about, uh, protect yourselves. You gotta think just not only about yourself, but you gotta think about others. Uh, I spoke to a student today um, just reminding them, hey, uh, if you want to preserve your season, um, you just got to monitor how you're behaving too, right? How, how you're treating others, how you're protecting both you and, and others around you. You know, it's amazing. You know, we're, we're still talking about this, but I remember early on the three W's, wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your space. You know, and I can't say enough to reiterate that. You know, at this time during the holidays, you want to be safe. You want to make sure your family's safe and your friends are safe. So remember those three W's and, and you know, come back to us healthy. Uh, from me, on behalf of the uh, Board of Education, our staff, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to work with your kids in a full day instruction, and we hope to keep it going. And from the administration and staff at Sterling High School, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and we will see you in 2022.